Hello and welcome to the Sandbox Daily. So the news we've got today is about uh, investment and about some um, sort of rich, powerful people getting involved in the sandbox, which doesn't seem to be kind of very important on, sort of on, on the day to day level of, of people who are just interested in the sandbox. But um, obviously, over time, the more important, uh, the rich, powerful people you can attract to your project, um, then then the bigger your project gets because these people have have obviously an incentive to um, to promote that project. So um, it's interesting from that point of view. So um, we have a whole bunch of companies, some of which um, you may have heard of, some of which you may not have heard of. Um, same same thing for me, really. So I'm not. I'm going to go through. Going to go down here. Okay. So. Um, we have Bill Lee. Um, so, so this is this is the this is the list of all the people who are involved. I um, should point that out. It's easier to easier to see in this in the bottom of this press release than than to go through the um, the, the, the kind of uh, paragraph up there. Um, so this guy is uh, into uh, he's founder of Twenty One X, which I've not heard of, uh, but he's into virtual lands. Um, he's got this company Craft Ventures, which is an early stage investor fund with um, far, uh, $850 million in management. He's invested in Tesla, Coinbase, Cloud9, uh, an esports company, and OpenSea, the NFT marketplace. He collects NFTs um, and has a VR <laughs> museum. So um, so he's pretty, he, pretty, he's a pretty good person to have. Uh, we have Chris uh, Yi, um, who is the uh, CEO of uh, UKEN Games. Um, so they're a, just a, a game developer, um, 60 million downloads. Um, uh, mobile games, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. Um, he sold Bingo Pop uh, to Jam City for ninety million dollars. He's angel investor in Dapper Labs, the the uh, Crypto Kitty Flow NBA Top Shot people, Horizon Blockchain Games, making a game blockchain game at the moment. Bunch, which is a a, a non non blockchain mobile social platform. Um, so he again is one of these investors who knows about games. We have uh, Ken Howry. Um, again, another uh, for, former um, M, uh, managing partner at Founders Fund, pretty pretty well known venture capital group, co-founder at PayPal, um, and also served as U.S. ambassador to Sweden. It seems pretty ra random, but there we go. Um, so you know, uh, pretty powerful kind of guy, Sun Ray uh, Sandeep Mandra, um, who's, who's worked in, who's actually at Ford, which is, seems a bit again. Some of these people seem random, but because they because he's working at Ford, doesn't mean he's not interested in things other than motor vehicles. Um, so Gemini, Gemini, well known in particularly in America, um, where they're one of the um, kind of most respected crypto exchanges. Um, not one of the biggest because it, they're quite um, they're quite tightly sort of regulated, and it's quite actually hard to get an account. Um, but they're pretty well known mainly because of the the Winkle Vo, Winkle Voss uh, twins, who they they set up Gemini. They also bought Nifty Gateway, which is a uh, NFT platform, which has obviously been doing very well recently with its digital art drops. So, so these three, Gemini, Nifty Gateway, and, and Winkle Voss Capital are all sort of all, all part of the same group. Uh, Galaxy Interactive, again, they're, they're sort of interesting in the sense that they raised a ton of money from, the, from, the, uh, from Block One, from the EOS IPO back in when it was 2017. So $4 billion raised by um, selling EOS uh, tokens. And the, uh, part of that is, is Galaxy Interactive, which is a VC company, um, which actually is not anything to do with EOS because no one's really investing in EOS at the moment, as far as I can see. Um, but they have um, they've invested 100, 200 million dollars in 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 uh, actually quite a lot of games companies, um, some blockchain companies as well. So they're pretty well known in this space. And then I've not heard of these guys, but um, probably you have. Avenged Sevenfold are a rock band. Um, so there we go. They've uh, done a whole bunch of stuff, um, which I'm not gonna gonna read about it because I have not clue who they are. But um, uh, maybe I've heard their music. Maybe I haven't. Um, so so all in all, you have these kind of interesting these interesting kind of individuals who have worked for big companies, who have set up big companies, who are now very rich. We have um, some some particular kind of blockchain focused companies again, very big, and then some. Um, you know, nothing to do with blockchain or investing, but but bands who um, see the point of something like the sandbox because they're going to build they're going to build environments in the sandbox. They're going to own the world. They're going to employ developers to build cool things where Avenged Sevenfold can presumably have concerts and things like that. So we're starting to see the building up of an ecosystem um, that 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 you know is 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 going to show the kind of potential of the sandbox. So the sandbox. You know, will be little people building games, little people like me trying to build games and fun environments and, and, and just having a bit of fun, not not professional at all. Uh, and, and it will be also um, all the way up to professional developers and bands and, and people having their own in sort of game, blockchain, metaverse, whatever terms you want to use experiences. So 
that's really what we want to see. We want to see a whole ecosystem covering all different bases. Um, so that is good. Uh, just quickly show this one as well. So this is um, just a little um, thing showing what's going on with the NFT land. So every block of land, this is a this would actually be quite a big block of land, I think. Or maybe one block, I don't know. So anyway, this is the land in the sandbox. Um, and so far, 76,649 of these land things have sold. So there's sort of different sizes. You can see here, some of these are bigger and some of them are smaller. Um, but this is what's been sold so far. It's not quite, not halfway through yet, 166,000 in total. Um, so we have... Uh, 41,000 sand tokens have been spent, um, 20 million dollars looks like they're saying there, and so far there are 550, sorry, 5,563 unique landowners. Now this is actually a unique wallet, so this is, um, if you, you can obviously own land in different wallets, so we can't say this is individuals, but this is the amount of Ethereum wallets to hold that land. Now, average price of a, goodness me, what's going on here? Uh, <laughs> The average this is some, some average price, right? So the average price of a land in dollars is two thousand two hundred and ninety dollars. This is the price in sand. That's what I'm getting confused about. Um, and assets, um, I quite know what they're saying. What they're saying there. Maybe that's the average price of assets. So, the, so some of these lands have assets with them as well. Five hundred dollars per for, for the assets. So anyway, you're just getting an idea that this thing is starting to to become kind of you know big numbers, um, big big people involved. Um, and and we can see some idea. I mean, this is relief graphs a bit all over the place. This is this is the in blue. We're seeing the sales, secondary markets, people selling to each other, and the primary markets. These big spikes are when the sandbox sells sells new land. And here we see the average, um, the average uh, land price. Um, I don't know what these scales are. <laughs> that's the problem. It's not very well set up graph. We can see it's going up. I guess that's the important thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is the Sandbox Daily, where we are really uh, hoping that the Sandbox curries up and and does some um, and goes goes live with some bits <laughs> because we are um, champing at the bit to to uh, to get this project up and running. So uh, please subscribe to the channel to find out more um, and keep up to date with what's happening with the Sandbox. But thanks for watching and see you again soon.